missed it. There we go. And deck, Hercules is away. Copy, Hercules away. Can you just turn and drive straight back? Yeah, don't go super fast. Yeah. Because then they can't hand bomb the tether out quite fast enough. So just take your time. Yep. Seems to be getting back there quick um, from ship stuff. So maybe I'll just keep it as is. But That's I can fine. I can hold whenever. Yeah, it was kind of like we never used to always stream forward on launch because we had enough current, and then somebody got burned with the cross current one day. Yeah, right. And so we're like, okay, we'll always do it. But Roger. Yeah. ROV team, permission to turn on ONC CTDD? Yes, go ahead. And Thank deck, you. tether is all out. Copy, tether's out. We do have a 122K ground fault, but that's fine. Let me know if it's getting to be too crazy. I can turn it off. Yeah, at some point we're gonna turn it off. We'll let you know, and just to make sure that that is actually what's causing it. Okay. But, uh, right now, we will not, we'll leave it on. One, four, nine, five. Okay, we'll give you some Herc lighting. Yep. Would you like me to start the mezzos? Uh, let me confirm, stand by. Standing by. Go ahead. Running mezzo. There is a button that says run. There it is. We're getting a little noisy in the analog ones, so it's going to throw your signal thing off. Yeah. I'm losing uh, the Zeus. Zeus. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, just because of our noisy analog ones, I think. Loosen the Zeus's. And that our butt camera hopefully is darker. <sighs> Band deck, Atalanta is away. Roger. I don't know Copy. How that causes that, but. No, just start diving and push forward, yeah? Yeah. I'll let you know when we have the vehicles tracking. Roger. Audio slate for Dive Hotel 1975 UTC time is 152327. Mark. Gauges are good. Comps are good. Ground faults are fine. Coming out auto, Iris. Ed, I want you to know that I always want to say Mark right after you say that. Mm. Oh, just because you miss Just them? to mess you up. Oh. Because you miss him. Just because you miss him. Man, I had a joke and then Ed got beat me with his joke. <laughs> <laughs> Is the Uno reverse card. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're tracking vehicles there. Let's there we see if we got them in here. Oh, there we go. Nice space map. I'll make that softer right now. Soft. Softer map. Chicken bucket looks good. Gauges are good. Can I switch you over to our uh, dive salvo? Yes, man. Cameras. Here you go. Do you want to hold position here or wait till we're at 75? It's fine. Go for it. Okay. Bridge nav. We can hold. Man. Thank you. Huh. That's annoying, isn't it? What do you got? The camera? The three yeah. bubble cam, yeah. It's uh, drop frames too, which is every every video engineer's dream. What's that from? I don't know. Uh, what's that from and how do you fix it, Trevor? <laughs> it's like I'm just asking all these annoying questions. <laughs> mm. Oh, there's the north sticker. I remember this. I remember what happens here. Cages are good, comp's good, ground fault's good. I mean, they're not great, but... Hey, back row, can I secure the ONC CTD power? You can stop your driver. Yeah, just a sec.
Um, Kate, driver stopped. Kate, for securing power. That Herc butt camera is not cleared up. Roger. I'll turn that off too, just for fun. But camera is secure. I'll turn power back on after yeah. a little bit. Class of not removing uh, the red book. That uh, bubble cam's not happy with life. Uh, so what is it that makes the Zeus flicker in the top right but not the one in front of us? The one in front of you is going through a scaler, uh, a multi-viewer, so that treats it differently. It's not as sensitive to, to the vertical interval. That's really it. But I, th I think I might be able to put bubble through a legacy frame sync. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that right now. Yellow means it uh, hasn't updated recently because I turned some stuff off. So okay. it turned off the ONC CTD as uh, butt cam. Okay, that's also 65. Eighty four K. interesting. I'm gonna secure bubble cam for a minute. Mm hmm Yeah, we can just do the rest of the dive like that. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be happy. Yeah. Back deck, I'll stop at 75 meters. Control has been sent. Copy that. Roger. Let me know if, when you bump it successfully. Successful. Okay, control has control. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep going? Yep. Good. We're Kay. good. What's our bottom depth here, Randy? 800? 871. Thank you. 870. What's the 1,381 meters thing? Those, are this, you know what? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, Roger. So this map is an old ONC map. The ones, the one that, the base map under that has correct contours. Okay. Their positioning says 871. I, I'm not sure what those are, so just ignore those. But the contours themselves should, should be real. Yeah, it's a different map, though. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. It's actually the same. As I zoom out on high back, it's the same. I don't know. Because that wouldn't be feet. That's not enough feet. Fathoms. Yeah? I no, don't fathoms. Know. I don't know. There'll be fewer fathoms than meters. Something is a cables amiss. Yeah. Well, hi, guys. This is your dive chief, AJ. Okay. Uh -oh. Have you guys noticed how cool Josh is? <laughs> Holy. Turn off, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Foiled so quickly. Another reverse. Yeah, it wasn't. Im immediately. You don't think that voice was accurate? Nope. No. No, no not, not no. even close. <laughs> no, it was pretty bad, actually. <laughs> no, it was not good. <laughs> hey, Rennie. Yes, I'm going to. You gonna have a moment. Can you make yeah. Atlanta sonar not bad? Oh, yeah, I can make it not bad if you want. I can make it worse. No, I want it to be not bad. Kind of showing off there. I can make it. 58k ohm. It's not the ONC CTD, which is pretty nifty. Oh no, what's going on then? I don't know. The old mystery ground fault back. So I have a video drop us. What do we? We took the DVL off. We took the bubble off. Yeah, it's not those either. Oh, it could be DVL. Yeah, no. Sure. Okay, do it now before we get down there. Yeah, Roger that. I'm gonna no. move. DVL bridge now. Uh, one step south, three zero meters. Um, zero point five is fine. Thank you.
camera. Okay. Okay. Roll speed. What's going on with Michael Bubble? Yeah, uh, that's that's what I'll do. Um, where where are you looking at Bubble at? Trevor, you're going to want to leave on CCTD off for this dive then? Negative. I can turn it on uh, any moment. Okay. Um, whenever you're ready. Power is on. A good minute to boot, and then you can do your drivers. Hey, Josh, you hey. on there? Right here. Can you please grab the red book? Yeah. Thank you. Maybe is it pulling voltage that away from the camera? Maybe, or the uh, the fi the uh, EO the fiber EO. Uh, unknown. But I can almost guarantee that with bubble cam secure, you're not going to see any problems. Right. Uh, butt cam, her butt cam looks good. Not good, thanks. Okay, 149k with a Doppler off. Let's try that on again, see what happens. One six eight from the IP. One CCTD confirmed back on. Raj. Yeah, DVL. I'll take it the tether up for it. Reset again. Uh, say one more time. Tether ops. Oh yeah, zero them. I always, always forget that. AJ, can we send the uh, dive plans out? Good day. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks All for right. remembering. It's my Achilles heel. Zeroing those. I just can't. No, because I, I know we reset them after the pre dives up here. And you got to do them as soon as you but spark up the compass. As soon as you start the the DVL mm. again, it starts to throw it all the out The octans, again. yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to put it on the nav list to remind the pilots to reset the tether? That would be a great idea. How you're saying that, but which pilots will be annoyed by that if I put that in my Most list? Most of them. Yeah. All, all of the other ones. Yeah, all of the other Even ones. me. Yeah. I know. It was the same when we added Mezzo to our list. Yeah. It was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Over there. How we do in front row? Everything going well? Yeah, going well. So mainly yeah. as far as you know. Uh, a <laughs> AJ, uh, I was looking at the dive plan and it says that we're meant to place this once about one six eight degrees from the IP, approximately yeah. sixty meters. That's that, right. Yeah. Is that correct? That's so correct. So that so that'll be west of the east uh, one that's down there. Correct. Yeah, it'll be almost. It's yeah. It's gonna be like mostly south, right? Uh, one six. Let me just do it here. One six eight and sixty somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's fine. But when but we go and get our new updated, it's off. Hydrate IP. Yeah. Then we'll, then we'll use DVL okay. or sonar or something to get that a little tighter. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. We'll do a little bit of a survey of the lay path on our way from the IP to this final position because it's like right through Wally Land and all sorts of other. Oh, Wally Land's stuff. down here? Wally Land is down here. We're going to lay a cable right through it. Wally is not down here. Why Just don't land. I have Wally? Tar oh, Wally's not down here. Wally's not down here. Wally is half disassembled in our shop. Cool. So there's no crazy arch no, cable that no we No, there's no arch cable. <laughs> okay, no, no. We're all good. 
I was like, where? <laughs> why isn't Wally on here? Where's the hazard? Hazard. Hazard. No. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Wally is being repurposed for the upcoming whale fall experiment. So Wally's going to have a 4K camera put on him, and he's going to drive around a uh, sunken whale carcass. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's going to be super sweet when that happens. Bridge nav. Step one five meters, bearing one three zero. Uh, zero point five is fine. Thank you. Perk, I think you'll be slightly up slope when we land, which is fine. So for people who are just tuning in on Nautilus Live, this is a fairly short, relatively simple dive. We're only going down to a depth of 871 meters. Uh, so not too deep. Should be on the bottom pretty shortly. And we are just deploying the one instrument. Is that right? That's correct, yeah. We're just dropping it off, and then we'll come back and dropping plug it, it off, later. Making a quick drop off run That's right. Right. Yeah. and then we'll come back up to the surface and then dive in this same location again correct yes yeah we'll come back with the cable and the sonar bell which is used to calibrate this device and we'll get them all set up and then we're going to move on to do some s video surveys of the coral cliffs which sounds pretty exciting yeah i have not seen them myself that but, sounds very cool uh, looking forward to that and I'm sure uh, we can get scientist Fabio in here to tell us. <laughs> I'm going to so ask you a bunch of science questions about the corals, AJ. <laughs> yeah. uh, corals are an organism. <laughs> yeah. You are correct. Cold, are these cold water corals? Is that the distinction? Sure are. Deep water, cold water corals. Well, they sound pretty cool. Um, so I don't know if you heard AJ, but uh, Systems was talking about I turn bubble on. power cycling these junction boxes up, up and check. around here just because there was a communications failure at some point. Um, but currently we have communications and JB or JB7's J7 is turned off. Okay. So um, looking good now. Okay. Yeah. Cages are good. Well, that's great for now. I think. Um, yeah probably leave the power cycling to maybe when we're not hanging around. If they've I think it, they've done it already. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Thank you, systems. Uh, Trevor, did you find that it was DVL or no? Yeah. Oh, man. It's okay. We'll have it. Oh, we'll have it. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. just... Good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. It'll be all right. Freaking out. Freaking out, man. <laughs> you might go away with a squeeze. Bubble problems have gone away with a squeeze. Yeah. I positioned the ship where I think we should be to reach both the IP and the chicken bucket site. But, I mean, I would hope that the coordinates are still good because we're not that deep I hope we see some bubbles. I think that'd be cool. I'm discouraged after our last failed bubble hunting attempt. You looking for bubbles down here again? Well, no, not really. But I think it'd be fun to find them. Are there, do you expect bubbles to be here? Yes. Oh, okay. Is that why there's the sonar? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah. It's also why the site is called Barkley Canyon Hydrates. Mm. Because of the bubbles. I think so. Cool. Because of the hydrate. Gotta stay hydrated. What's a hydrate, Rennie? Uh, the solid form of methane, methane hydrate, I think, and then the bubbles precipitate, the bubbles, could, could you say sublimate out of that? You I could. so, yeah. Yeah. You, you could, could say, say it. it. You could say it. True. Yeah, we could say whatever we want. <laughs> the internet will yell at us if we're wrong. <laughs> They'll yell at us regardless. <laughs> the internet. Yells at us. You guys happy to have a herd back in the water? No more yeah. multi beam? Yeah. Yeah. Those were pretty good days for multi beam. I remember in 2020, the multi beam days were not quite so easy on the stomach. Yeah. Yeah, this was, this was all right. Yeah, we tried to, ch some of the headings, the bearings of the ship we had to choose were not entirely optimal for the things that we were surveying but we got there in the end and got enough of the good, of the good stuff nice the How good the, how's stuff. the data look it looks great actually so except for just the data dropouts here and there um the, the good data is good and there's and that's most of it it's great what was showing up on the screens looked pretty neat in terms of mathematic features what was showing up is that what you said yeah like what we were able to just follow along with on the on board oh yeah it was a um a lot of cool seamounts some there's a couple of ridge seamounts there that are just to the west of the endeavor vent field um it looks like they're going to be they're proposed to be part of the expansion of the mpa mm -hmm. and uh um, yeah we got Doppler two of them off. surveyed quite well and the other two just a couple passes through why not yeah excellent that's Did you turn super off there? exciting. I turned on yeah. the DVL. I remember DFO did a cruise after us uh, last year mm -hmm. on the Tully, and they posted some footage from what they saw. And I, I, I'm not sure if those were these seamounts or if those were other seamounts nearby, but the the <coughs> biological diversity that they found there was pretty interesting. To see. It seems like it would be just the proximity there, and I don't know. Seamounts like that at those depths tend to be pretty. Uh, the super shallow ones, you mean? It, they're not super shallow. They but they're at the they're at the good depth of like two thousand meters. Where oh, sorry, I'm back thinking it's from like twenty five hundred to fifteen hundred meters. That's like a really good depth for biology. Are uh, the ones up off uh, Haida Gwaii that are the come to twenty five meters? Yeah, that's the yeah, Bowie Seamount off of Haida Gwaii. Yeah, we mapped that one. Um, years back mm -hmm. that was fun to map really? that <laughs> because you get to the top and your line spacing is just super tight right, so right you got 20 yeah. meters I remember having and then your resolution <laughs> changes of what you can ultimately achieve so like at the top of that we have like a really small in the handful of meters grid grid cool. cell and then but then it goes down to four or five thousand four thousand maybe five thousand I can't remember quite fast but it is a ridge so it's it's easier to map than a just a circle circular seamount roger that's just because you can line you can line the ship up running lines parallel to the ridge kind of thing yeah that's that's correct um but then that also depends on weather at the surface too mm -hmm. so that's kind of what i was alluding to earlier is the way that we could run lines was not in the direction of the strike of the seamounts um, but at the end, we were able to get a good line over it on the way out. But if we had to turn around, it would have been not good data or mm -hmm. good feeling on the ship. Right. Hey, Trevor, can I put something up on your Mon 1 for just a second? This is a recorder, but do you think those audio levels would ever be helpful? Like if that was just Argus up there? Just to let you know your mic is hot. Who knows? How about giant ones? Bob. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not distracting at all. Yeah. I can't see. I can't even see, uh, I can't it's even see really those. good for the eyeballs. Flickering light. Oh, yeah. We got to put a piece of tape over that little thing that's right in front of my eye. I thought there was tape over that. Oh, Somebody, hey. Somebody has changed the tape situation. Why doesn't right-click work anymore? Hmm. Nope. 
Oh, I have no internet. That's winch neat. cabinet? Yeah, down, yeah. down there. I think we just had some paper over it that dulled it. You guys want to hear a definition of a hydrate? Yeah, yes. definitely. A gas hydrate is an ice-like substance that forms in deep sea sediments when low density gas like methane, ethane, or carbon dioxide combines but does not chemically bond with water and freezes into a solid under low temperature and moderate pressure conditions. I have questions. <laughs> if it freezes, how come it is ice-like? Because ice, ice is water. Well, was water, yeah. Yeah. Frozen oh, methane is just not call it frozen. ice. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to stick it in your jug and coke, eh? Gas hydrates Watch are found <laughs> in <laughs> sub-oceanic <laughs> sediments <laughs> and in continental slope sediments. That's a good mm. question, though. Why is it called ice cream? <laughs> the water's frozen. It's just the water, not the cream? Hmm. Who could know this? Stephen Wright. It was way too heavy for this time of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> what time of the morning is it? 8.47? Yeah. I don't know. I was awoken by an explosion of air pressure that I quickly realized <coughs> deduced was from the moon pool system, so I ran upstairs. Uh. It's that air pressure relief valve. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I thought it was uh, Justin blowing his nose. <laughs> I did. He's not here to I defend himself. <laughs> but it was so semi-regular. Why'd the moon pool release pressure? Um, it has a pressure relief valve, and it may or may not have a uh, gasket that needs to be replaced. But import more importantly, the pressure that they send from down in the engine room is normally 80 PSI, but for some reason lately has been variable up to 160 PSI, which tr triggers the release valve. Hmm. And it's loud. But it was bursts, right? It was like three or four bursts of air, not a continuous? It eventually was continuous. Oh, oh I missed that. Okay. Trying to slowly let our temperatures creep up in here. Allison Fundus, our expedition leader, is dropping some knowledge. She Ooh. says, in response to Ed's question, because yeah. it's a clathrate, a compound in which molecules of one component are physically trapped within the crystal structure of another. Cool. There you go. Perfect. What was that word? Clathrate, if I'm pronouncing it right. Clathrate. Just, Just like clathrate. it sounds. C L A T H. Like, but not ice. Rate. Mm. Cool. It is very too early for that. <laughs> for clathrates? <laughs> yeah, we can't talk about. We can't introduce new words this early in the morning. <laughs> That's a tough one too. Clathrate, though. Okay, did not know that. Thank you, Allison. Yep. Note to self, don't play Scrabble with Allison. Clathrate. <laughs> 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 Maybe I'm a liar. Maybe full stick is too much. Yeah. Okay. Slowing down a bit. Sounded like the intro to a song. Thirty. See you down close. Still fast, isn't it?
Hey, ROV guys. Hey, um, back row. When you ballast for something like the sonar, do you just remove, or you add buoyancy equal to its weight, or you do like a portion of it? Like how much weight do we need to make up so that you're even trim again? We just take off the same amount of weight in water in uh, our ballast, which is lead bricks. So you took off 45, or you took off 60 pounds of lead? Yes. So we have to find you 60 pounds of lead down below, or how, like, can you, I mean, can you fly if you're not trim? It's, this one's going to be pretty easy because we're going to put it down and then recover. So we okay. can be buoyant on the ascent. Oh, yeah, that's true, I guess. The, the time when being the neutral one. matters a lot is when you're doing imaging. So yeah. the vehicle can be buoyant. It'll just be less stable than autos and harder to fly stably. What's uh, like to a point, obviously. What's the delta, like if you didn't trim, how much can you thrust? I'd say we usually operate around 75 pounds max. That means we're going in at negative 10 and we'd be flying around at minus 85. But it depends on the operation. It depends on, yeah, the operation, really. Right, okay. So for, let's say, the next operation, we're going to send you down with the sonar bell and the PBOF, and it's going to weigh something like, I don't know, 55 pounds in water. Yeah. If we said trim the ROV so that it's neutral and then just str struggle with the weight for until we get that off the porch. We don't go negative. So we're going to, the heaviest part of the dive is what we trim for. Oh, okay. Everything else I is see. More buoyant. I see what you're so saying. So we always stay. For this one, I think we're, we're minus 14. The heaviest we want to be is like minus 10, and that's really, really heavy. I but see. We what don't you're go saying. zero. When you're saying positive. minus 10, you're saying you're 10, so 10 pounds buoyant. 10 pounds buoyant right now. Yeah, okay. Is that, that's like a principal thing? You always want the ROV to be able to float? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, it's better gotcha, for gotcha, recoveries, gotcha. it's better for on bottom, better for viz. Sure, sure, sure. But like if the first step is pushing stuff off the porch you still won't do it yeah because then you launch as soon as it's off the crane it's sinking yeah it's yeah not a not a fun time you you won't just go you can't just go thrusters you want Pardon it to me? float you can't just thrust up to make uh, up on the surface that. we're saving all of our pressures and uh oil temperature for other maneuvers yeah so going around on the surface get away from the ship's hull uh pulling on atalanta etc etc because if you use too much thrust, you can drop pressure. And if you use too much thrust, you also increase the temperature of the oil, which increases the pressure, which can cause other problems. Yep. All right. Thank you for that wonderful explanation. And if, you know, heaven forbid, the uh, line between Atalanta and Herc was severed, you definitely want Herc to be on the surface, not dropping down to the seafloor. Yep. Makes a sense. That way we can get hurt back easily, or it can go on holiday down to Oregon. Either one, yeah. Yeah. Bit of a double, double-edged sword, that. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, we would still be able to acoustically ping the beacon for long enough that we could locate it. That's a good question for you, Rennie. Sure. If there's a beacon on the surface, can you ping it? No, not when it's on the surface, no. So I'm going to ping the dark. What's turn the, the angle? Off. What's like the cone turn the angle off of again. the Ranger USBL? Let's see. It depends on the type of USBL that you're using. So we have one that is um, optimized for deep water. There are high angle, um, like shallow angle uh, USBLs that work a bit better um, at a high slant range. But um, even still, it needs to be in the water enough and and uh, yeah usually below the the transducer although some of them some of the transducers can have, like, kind of get a bit of a flare up but so do you know what the angle is like you say below but like obviously not exactly below right well we pick up hercules being now we've got a 50 meter long tether right so at launch, it's about 50 meters away, and we don't pick it up until uh, I wasn't wasn't quite looking. 20. 20. 
What's we get about 10 on this ascent, but yeah. 20 on descent. Yeah. What's the depth of the USBL head? Uh, it is about um, at, at least a meter proud of the bottom of the ship, which is about five meters down. Wow, okay, so it's six meters down there. I think so. And you're picking Hercules up 50 meters away at 20 meters depth. Yes. So that's pretty, that's pretty wide. It is. It's not bad. You can track it pretty well. Um, but the further away you get, it's going to be more difficult. Yeah, sure. Um, and then its accuracy is probably a bit diminished. 100 meters up. 100 meters off the deck. Still no beams on. Oh, wait. Do we have Doppler off? Yep. Okay. Are we keeping that off? Just doing a test, I can turn it on again. Okay. Yeah. Roger. Eight seven one, but you'll be a bit shallower because you're a little upslope. DBL's on. DBL's on. Okay. Uh, once we get no beams, range. okay, just a couple beams. Oh, they're starting to come in. There you go. Beams now. Yeah, I'll wait till it's solid. Raj, you got the beams? Okay, yep, gonna switch you over here. Dead wreck. Give her the beams. Give her the beams. Dead wreck there. And oy, oy, oy. No yes, give me a there. second. There you go. Oh, wait. And then I have to do this one more. There you go. <laughs> So we've got position source dead wreck, we've got a quick fix to USBL, and our source is dead wreck for the cut trail. 999. Okay. I'll bring Atalanta to a stop at 35 meters up bottom. You good with that? Yes, mate. Okay. I've positioned Atalanta about 30, 25 south of the IP. That's perfect. Which should give us enough leash to go to the landing site as well. Mm -hmm. Do you do want to go to the IP first? Yes. Roger. Do we have a view of the bottom on bubble or is it obstructed by the sonar? We don't have a view yet. No, I, I oh. mean, wi will we? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just to, just, just to survey the lay path because... All right, I'll stop there. Our main cam is obviously okay. obstructed. Yeah, it rocked. Maybe I'm more like 28 meters off. Yep. There's that slope in front of Hercules and Mezzo. Floor. Okay, stop. Got sea floor in view on bubble cam. Pressure logging. Something beneath us directly? Could be the sonar. Oh, yeah? The e sonar. The e sonar, perhaps. Or it's just a sticker. Yeah. It's like a sticker. 16. 16. Oh, Wally Land 16. Wally Land 16. All there's right. no Wally, so no airborne cables, eh? No. Yeah, so that's there's correct. Gonna be, yeah, so you're, we're going to want to head northwest from here. Uh, what's the inverse of 132? We'll Let's go that one. Math. Do that one. 312. Yeah, that tracks with where the IP should be. Yeah. Just okay. about. If you want a cable to follow, just go north for a second. We want to not land in Molly Land, is that correct? Uh, or it doesn't. 
We want to not land anywhere. Yeah, Roger. Roger. I think I'm coming up a little on my delta. Pretty much. My heading is cable. On. You see the cable? We can follow that northwest. Roger. I think you'll have the leash for it in all directions, but let me know if it's not good. Pardon me? I'm going to keep my heading away from you just to give you a little more leash. Something off to your starboard. That's the IP there, right there. Got it. Yep. Yeah, thank you. So Vehicle's pretty much above ball. it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Just here. Uh, so you see it in the bubble? Yeah. We can't really do much of an inspection with this sonar on our porch, so what we really want to do is take a nav mark so that we know that we're putting the sonar in the correct location. Roger, can you just get over it a little bit more, and I'll just... Uh, Get as best as I can our offset there, and we'll do a DVL from it. Yeah, I can go put the porch over the top. Roger, thank you. I'm gonna come down on Delta a little. There is that CTD monument to the east that you might want to be see careful it. around. See it, but it's pretty much the same height as the platform. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seven meters up right now. Well, clear. Yeah. All right, I got you uh, there. I'll put a little target. And let me put one over here. This is hydrate IP. Is this yours? 268. It's just about a 10 meter offset. Okay, so we have our IP position, and Perfect. you want to... We want to go 62 meters at a bearing of 168 degrees from the IP. Okay, let me um, yeah, set that up. Start turning around. Yeah, me. 168, 62. So we're doing another southeast sonar, is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right, now we need... Somewhere there. Okay, let me put a target so it's easier to see. It's fine. I 
Okay, that's where we're heading there, that target. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah front row, feel free to move out whenever you're ready. Roger. Um, let's see if we have the leash on Argus. Atalanta. It's 40 meters away from Atalanta. Is that too far, Trev? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. 47 I'll meters, yeah. Yeah, okay. I will go 15 meters. No, that's not what I want. Two zero meter is one four five. Bridge nav. Two zero meter step bearing one four five. So are you looking Thank at something you. different than me? Because I look like two eight. Sorry, where? Well, you just dragged. What are you looking at for your distance there? Uh. R. Yeah, R. Okay. Yeah. But I, I don't need it to be that two zero at one four eight. I should put it. W yeah. So if we need to go back to the IP, which we shouldn't have to, but yeah, okay, Roger. Um, but then you'll be about thirty away. Is that all right? We'll find out. Okay. Dave, I can try and get you in view here. Okay, mate. Well, we can. There you are. AJ, we shouldn't have to go back to the IP, correct? Correct. Okay, I'll just do a little more then. Bridge nav. Can you add 10 meters to that step? So 10 more meters at one, four, five. Thank you. So AJ, do you want us to put this down when we get there and do all the orientation and everything? Or are we gonna do that part later? Yeah, I think, it, I think it's worthwhile to orient it roughly okay. so that when we come back and lay the cable, we know how much slack cable we have left over at the end of the day. But I think we'll do all of our uh, touching up next dive. Roger. So when, you're, when, you're, when we're putting it down or after we put it down, I think it's worth giving it one course orientation. Okay. I'm getting pulled now, so I can spin around, or you could wait. Your call. I'll wait. There's no point dragging it if we don't have to. Roger. Yeah, it's shallow, so it should move soon. Yeah. It's already moving. All right, I'll be just about there. There you go. Right here somewhere? Yeah. How long is that cable that we're plugging it in? 70 meters. Okay, so at eight meters of play? Yeah. We want this positioned as far away as we can with the cable. So we'll start it here, we'll lay the cable, and then if there's any sort of slack loops left um, here when we're done we'll just pick it up and shift it the extra distance okay Raj. too loud trevor mm-hmm mm-hmm So yeah, whenever you're good, we can touch down and... You're okay with landing? Yeah, I'm okay with landing. Oh uh, yeah, I think you're okay. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if you're able to to get closer to that point or not. I'm not sure. It's hard to for me uh, to judge how far off we are. Yeah, I mean, I just ranged out from both on both of them, and they're within a couple of. Let's see. One six eight six two. Yeah, it's yeah, about perfect. it's about there on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it looks good to me. Yeah, it's good. We ready for some deployage? Let's deploy. Okay. ROV's heading is uh, due south, which means this is. There we go. ROV's heading is due south, which means we'll put the north marker pointing towards us. Not wow. Need to get a probably a line, but. Wow, that was perfectly done. Yeah. Look at that. Real what? master class. Yeah, face the ROV the opposite of the, yeah. Yeah, Dave. Dave's Dave planned, planned that the whole time. He was thinking about chess. it on the way down. All right, let's, uh, let's get some bubblage here. Sometimes I even surprise myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just a remark that this entire structure is fiberglass, so don't uh, try not to grip it too hard with your crushing arms. Roger. I'm gonna turn down my grip force, or what's the scoop? Yeah, whatever you think is adequate. You just, have to, break, you just have to break Six. it off the porch. It doesn't take a lot of force. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bonk. Just test bonk for good measure. Yeah. yeah Make sure. Yeah. Got them both. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put it down and realign it later. Yeah. You can also pick it up by the mooring as well. Yeah, that's not my fave. Not the mooring, the bridle. Yeah, then I'd be reaching for the stars. Reach for the stars. It's like Ooh, the Woody That's toy. heavy. It is 63 pounds. Yeah. In water. That's right. It's lighter in air, believe it or not. No. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe it. I can, wait, wait hold on. Out. Yeah, I need to give it a bit more thrust on, Mick, because we've lost uh, a lot of weight. Yeah, roger, roger. Now, if you need to pull up the temp position. By. That's as good as we're going to get, and that's nearly everything down. Yeah, we're pretty light, so. Yeah. That's fine, we don't have to spend a lot of time down here. You don't really have to do any of this if it's too much trouble. Can oh. I grab right there? We're okay. Ed, can you zoom in, please? Yeah, coming in. Just want to make sure there's no anything weird. Keep going. Like that. Ed looks yeah, happy. Okay, come pull wide, please. Pull wide, wide. Some fiberglass hardware. Pull yeah, wide. Thank you. Let me know on your good data. Okay. I can't do this with grip force six. Um, will you have a better chance to lift it up if you grab uh, the sort of the grading platform? Could do, sure. Yeah. That means I could go grip force nine. Right? Sure. Right. I'm less worried about that buckling. Buckle, buckle up. Uh, I'd rather it didn't buckle up. Unbuckled. Unbuckled. Yep. Yeah. For safety. Reach for the sky. Oh, oh yes. there it is. Thank you. Hmm. It's pretty torquey. Someone had that on quick draw. Yeah. That was good. I don't know who that was, but. I gotta do something. Is that you, Josh? <laughs> Where's yep. he? Where's he even sitting? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know he was here. He's in the sound he booth. Stay room. Sleeping chair. Yeah. He's, he's working on his dream oh of having gosh. the uh, sound effects panel ready. <laughs> it's in the I floorboards. <laughs> Josh is? Yeah. Why? I don't know. He's going for like a telltale <laughs> heart kind of thing. Hoop, hoop, hoop. 
The nice thing about doing this now is that we uh, will leave the area a mess and hopefully it'll all be settled by the time we're back. You betcha. Yeah. Let's hope we don't have to reposition. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we might be moving it again. Eh? Oh, might look, there's that north sticker. Might be. Right there. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll give you a little bit of offset, too. There you go. What's your heading right now? 178? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Um, how do those feet look? They'll sort themselves out, I think, when we're laying the cable. Yeah. I think we're clear to ascend. All right. Uh, ascend, ascend for Arms recovery. Secure. Yeah. Let's okay. go all the way. Bounce all right. dive. Bounce dive. Just testing out our... Processing. Oh, just confirming you got a position oh, yeah. on this right, for data. I do have a we position. Do that when we come up Confirmed. Too. Sonar yeah. deploy temp. Beautiful. You're all good for your fix, yeah? All good. Yep. All right, coming up. Okay, I'm coming to starboard. Gonna set up in recovery position. Once you're off, you start stretching out. I'll put this arm away. Mm -hmm. That was super efficient. Well done, guys. That's quick bounce. Mm -hmm. Quick bounce. Quick bounce shift. Whoa. It's What's like the turnover for you guys? As fast as we can. I want to see the sweat dripping down your brow. Yeah. Jeez, you look better than for that. Yeah. Are we deploying more instrumentation on the next dive? We're bringing down the cable for this instrument, and we're bringing down a device that gets used to calibrate this instrument. So. More things, um, but there it's all it's sort of all about this one instrument. Lots of cool. How jelly. much, uh, how jelly. much jelly. cable is it going to be? Do you know, camera it's left, a 70 please. meter length of PBOF. Thank you. Pressure balance That's oil fill. Looks great. So we'll we'll okay, do a, a mini cable a next dive where we drop the bundle by the instrument and then we'll pick up the top end of it and we'll. <laughs> sort of fly yeah, backwards to the IP shot, like and this go. cable is is very light in water so it'll just kind of drape out along cool. the path and uh, there it is yeah. be free hopefully we gave ourselves <laughs> a little bit of buffer because we placed that 62 meters away from the platform and we have 70 meters to play with it's not perfectly flat down here there are some features that we have to contend with on the bathymetry so yeah hopefully we don't find ourselves coming up too short You know, it's it had its novelty, um, <laughs> but I think it's worn everyone out, Josh. <laughs> didn't hey, did that didn't take him much. long. <laughs> he didn't even open his mouth, and we're all tired of him. <laughs> I'll just go back on deck for recovery, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough of the uh, job. dive shack for you there, Josh. Okay, coming up. Okay. Gonna switch back over to USBL. Just because we're getting good pings anyway. Bubble cam preset two. So ROV just letting you know now, so it's not a surprise when the <gasps> sub's on deck. We're going to be hitting you with that 70 meter cable, mm -hmm. that sonar bell, mm -hmm. uh, and then we also, I think, want the push cores loaded up. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, Roger. Okay. So, Trevor, is this a good time to white balance? No. <laughs> <laughs> vehicles do we have? Uh, my ascent speed is... I'll slow down a bit, eh? I need, yeah, but I need to slow down anyway. Just 30's fine. 30 is fine. This yeah. is fine.
Do you guys like the new uh, captive uh, sleeve for the slurp? I haven't tried it. Oh, really? This is dive one. I thought maybe you did on deck. We're excited to see how it works. Subsea. Bridge snap. Just letting you know we are recovering and we have approximately 20, 25 minutes. Thank you. That scale has changed. Where's that? Right here. The, the speeds. On the Griffon? Maybe it's just because it's coming the other way. And yeah, it's got the upsy down the. Yeah. Upsy mm. downsy. All right, I can jump back in, Josh. Feel free to stretch your legs. You worked hard. Good job, Josh. No easy. Hey, uh, do you want to do this? I'll take some notes. <laughs> so, Marley, does anybody have any questions about that dive? <laughs> So many questions. Hmm. Um, nope. A couple comments about being back in the water. Uh, you guys look happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about it. There we go. Sometimes the dives are short. <laughs> There's no more to that <laughs> sentence. That was it. <laughs> Sometimes your statements are short. Right? Yeah. Our next dive will be pretty long probably, right? Plug it in, and then we're going to do some coral surveying. What's your estimate, AJ? How long is the next dive? Ooh. It's going to be longer than 48 uh, minutes? <laughs> longer than 48 minutes. On bottom time, I'm guessing, I don't know, two and a half, three hours? Three hours to do all that, you think? I like to give you guys a, a healthy... Completely unrealistic time room. <laughs> frame. Huh. I don't like to put pressure on you guys. I know it's tough. Three hours uh, seems like a lot of pressure. I'm just saying. Hmm. Well, I guess it depends on how far away the coral survey is, right? Yeah, that's the thing. I've never transited there, so it's hard to know. How fast can her go subsea? I guess it's like based on the ship moves. So if yeah, you do like one AJ. big ship move. Now if I turn bridge back up to zero. Okay, what were you saying, AJ? How far is the coral cliffs? Um, I'll figure it out. Okay. But uh, how how fast does the ship move? If you were to do like a big ship move, um, twelve knots. <laughs> it depends on uh, if we were going to track the bottom and how big, how long the move is. Because for the most part, getting up into the water column, going into a tow mode where we can go slightly faster and then coming back down and landing safely is usually takes up more time than just tracking along the bottom, but there is a distance in which it is faster to do that. Sure, if I, Rennie, if I give you the lat long of our furthest survey here, would you be able to I can, show us how far it is? Yes, I can. That's okay. about all, that's pretty much what I do, just that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're, you're you very your good at it. <laughs> that's the one thing I do. All right, you ready for some numbers? Yep. Uh, negative. This is a uh, longitude. All right. Negative one two six. Yep. Decimal zero seven. Mm -hmm. Two two eight seven. Okay. Down to the millimeter. Roger. Yep. Yeah. And then, well, we're very accurate here. Yeah. Isn't that meter? That's millimole. Uh, meter Micromole. is like think four, five, five, and that was Ooh, six. Really? I think so. All right. Well, six. Hey, I'll maybe. I'll, I'll round the last one out for you. Yeah. Here, uh, latitude forty-eight. Uh huh. Decimal 
Okay. I could be wrong, Trev. I don't know. I could be wrong, too. I'm wrong a lot. Well, we'll see if we end up with one of these in Oahu or something. Yeah, hopefully. Now, where did that target there. go? I can tell you where it went. Yeah. Negative 126. Okay. Hoping? No, you're hurting. Yeah. They're surveying Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. So that's quite a ways, isn't it? Yeah. It's uh, about 700 oh. meters away. Wow. Seven, eight, almost 800, yeah. So what do you think? Tow mode? Transform? Uh, no, I'll probably just fly it. We'll just go as fast as we can with the ship. Yeah, just drive it. It'll be downslope, uh, so we, just, we just won't track bottom. We'll just kind of get to the target and then re reset up. But I think probably we would just go like a knot there, which would be one knot and that's one knot is two meters a second. No, Did we get there in a half an second. hour. About a half an hour to get there. All right, and then we got to do some cruising around at a speed of probably point three half a knot. Half a knot is quite fast for what are you doing over there? Just a video survey. Half a knot is what is um, yeah. specified by the PI. Hmm. That's fine as long. I mean, we'll just see what kind of slope it is and. Yeah, I heard coral cliffs. We're not doing half a knot over ground if it's a vertical cliff. Right. Yeah. So we'll have to... It looks like a vertical cliff. Great. Yeah. So zero knots. <laughs> yeah. Zero knots. <laughs> half a knot. Yeah. Vertically. Right. Yep. Yep. Hmm. So we go a little slower with the ship in order to achieve that. Yeah, I'd say. Deck control. Just letting you know we are on ascent, we're at five, six, zero meters. Copies. 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 If now's a good time, Renny, I can actually give you the coordinates of the whole survey. Um, you can plug them in as how many, many points. How many are there? Four points. Maybe if it's written down, I'll just, I'll write it in. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be on the next dive plan. Okay, cool. Yeah. That would be... Because I, I don't want to fumble it. Fumble. Fumble. Fair enough. Fumble. I don't need no stinking auto heading. The recovery heading will be the same. Yep. Yeah, wait. Yep.
I doing? It's 9.30, do you think we'll splash it in by 12? Because you guys have a minimum amount of stuff you have to do, plus adding yes. the other stuff and yeah, ballasting and all that. Integrate and ballast and yeah. porch rig and we so a couple, probably not. A couple micro defects to fix. Okay. He's sitting right there. You don't have to. I wouldn't say it right in front of him. He's not on comms. That's oh, fine. good. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some forward way on the ship. Four hundred meters depth. Bridge nav. Can we secure tanks, enable air to tuggers, and have the captain present? Roger that, and we can uh, track a line forward at the ship's current heading speed. 0 0.3 knots. Thank you. All right, taking that back down minus six. So you just up here. Who's the PI on the transect? The video transect? Fabio. Fabio. Okay, great. diner we know just how he likes his video prepared Bernie did you get a dive plan I just got one yeah great I'll, uh, I'll plot that up after we recover all yeah. the yeah, uh, just for contingency, can you input uh, all of those points on page seven? Roger, I'll uh, I'll make sure I get all of this. <laughs> There's three columns, I think. Oh wait, they continue on the page eight too. Oh great, yeah, no, I'll add them all. <laughs> no, Rennie, all we really <laughs> need you to do. Do you see uh, on page five? At page five, Roger. There's the table, but then. Below the table, there's this diagram showing one, two, and three. Yeah. That's what we care about. One, two, and three. So it's so it's number one, two, and three in the chart, in the table? So, no. So, okay. the, it's kind of confusing. The red lines, yeah. the old red lines correspond to the lines of the table. Yeah. But then the kind of, the yellow lines are what we want to run. Okay. So we'll start, the start of our first leg will be at the bottom of 
row two, if that makes sense. And that's the point I gave you. The bottom of row two. It's like the downslope side of old transect two. Because that's the red line there that says two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're not running one up to the... We're running... Do we want to start at the bottom of one, on the east side of one? We want to start on the east side of the yellow one, but yes. not the red one. That's correct. And then we go up to the base of two and then strafe along the cliff. Yeah. We want to run, the, the, the path we want to go is the path in yellow, but the, the mm -hmm. numbers in red correspond to the table above. So if you're looking for the lat long coordinates, okay. then you have to look at where you are in red. So we're so starting two, at two down slope. Two down slope. To two up slope. To two up slope, and then three, and, and then we're gonna over to this three. ISO bath of 770. Yeah. To the top of 770. We're gonna and then go three. We're gonna do transect three down slope. Yeah. That'll be tough to go down slope, I think. Um. Yeah. It actually, if you read the text, it says we're gonna reposition the ROV down at 931, and then do transect three up. Roger. Okay, that makes so much more that sense. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. All right, I'll put those positions in after this then. Awesome, thank you. Yes. ROV at 275. 275, Roger. We have a bit of forward way. Hopefully, that straightens you out a bit. Probably as much you can. You want to put, you want to put some in the bank to be on the port side. Yeah. Um, because I think we got a bit of current at the surface that'll be on the starboard. Okay. If you can, without. Change this to the dive
Couple of big ones there. Yep. Let's see if I got holes. The bird? No. Yeah. There was a whole load of them on the surface when we went in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Waiting to get the bycatch out of our net. Yeah. Suckers. Same again, Ram, just keep the ship moving forward all the way. Roger, will do. Okay. If um if you're struggling to get over to where the crane is, I can hold position if, in case we're it's a little too much forward way for you. Yeah. Um but it's up to you. Yeah, I'd be a bit more concerned about the ship running me over. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, yeah seven five. Once he takes over, you can probably start to turn all your lights out and all that kind of shit. Yeah, Raj. Roger. Okay, that's Good. Also at 70. Yep. Deck control. We're all stop at 75 meters. I'm going to stop the mezzos before you uh, secure them. That's yeah. all right. Absolutely, mate. Good to go. Stopped. Looks like our sun glint will be no good for port cam, but the aft cam should 
Should be alright for Hercules. Yeah, right here. Yeah. So jelly. Two hundred meters. Two hundred meters lost track it Roger Paddle into that surface. Yep, see. Thank you. There's Herc. Herc, there you go. Yeah. <sighs> Owen's ECTD driver is off. Let me know if you're not making any any yeah, way over there. Really slow. Quite slow, yeah. It's okay at the moment, though. Yeah, by the time it's we get coming, we get the so daisy and everything. We'll see how we go. Yeah. I'm usually there's stuff we can do with the ship, but I'm usually of the opinion that we can try to avoid that if we can, because it adds another layer. <laughs> Got the clips on, yeah. Looks like it.
it might be worth asking the ship to slow down. I could slow. I could also change the bearing a bit. It'll put you over on the port side. Um, or I could hold position if that if that helps. Um, yeah, let's see what holding position is going to do for us. Roger that. Will do. Bridge. Bridge nav. Hold position, please. Thank you. Yeah, I think we're okay because we didn't we didn't do that um, <coughs> percentage jet pump thing. That's what sent us back over ground before. Okay. But we've been making forward way, so the whole position might bounce you back a little, but should give you a bit. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, thanks. Just watching me tension on there, so. Yeah, Raj. Now that we're our position's held, I can step. I can lateral the ship to starboard as well, and that'll kind of kick yeah, you over. Yeah, we're probably going to have to looking at this. Yeah, it Is looks that like a it. Full stick. Yeah, I keep losing where you are. Yeah. Um. All right. Why don't I call that in right now? Bridge nav. Can we step the ship to ship starboard? Three zero meters. Speed 0 0.5. Not turn to starboard. Step, uh, step ship starboard. Um, so approximately 0 0.30, 30 meters. Thank you. Deck. Go for van. To give you guys a heads up, we have Hercules uh, just to starboard of center line at the moment. Roger that. We're working on uh, getting that over slightly to port. Roger. If we uh, need a pause, let us know. Copy. I can come in, start moving towards them, yeah. so they can get the umbilical up, and they'll have them on the crane anyway. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Bridge is a little bit slow here in responding. Okay, you're starting to get over. It's coming, yeah. Yeah. And that's more me coming astern because the head's coming around a fair bit there too. Yeah, Raj. It looks like he's going to help you out with this ship move. Unless you want to just hold it there. Okay, that ship move is now called in. Go ahead, Bridge. Roger that, thank you. Yeah, we were just having trouble with um, the positioning Hercules, um, so we're getting there. Thank you for that move. Can't really tell. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of right by the A-frame here. Now we got it in this cam a bit better. Yeah, it's my head in them. Oh yeah, there you go. There it is. There you go. So that ship move is put in and it should step you over quite a bit to port. And I can hold position at any point. Van, back to Kirkley's is 10 meters from the transom. Copy that, 10 meters from the transom. This, uh, this move should help. It's just not really moving too fast. No, it's okay.
you stand by on the Hercules page to kill the power for me, please? Because I think we're going to need to have this for till all right, the way till in. the end, yeah. Yeah. Yes, please, mate. And back to Hercules is past the transit. Copy. Okay, mate, you can kill it. And uh, Hercules is out of the water. Okay, and then kill high voltage once yeah. that's uh, off. You're there we off, go. Yeah. Good. Okay. okay. High voltage is off. Deck. High voltage secure. Thanks for that maneuvering, Dave. We got there. <laughs> 